Vitality Big Half has beaten the Big Freeze. It's cold but dry for the 11,500 people taking part in this festival of running. Ali Dixon and Charlotte Perdue are among the favourites in the women's race. But there's no doubt at all about the headline act, Sir Mo Farah, back on the streets of the capital, looking to test himself ahead of the London Marathon in exactly seven weeks' time. Well, the big half route follows some of the London Marathon course only in reverse. We start just north of Tower Bridge and head out east, following the River Thames towards Docklands through the Limehouse Link Tunnel. The runners will then pick their way through Canary Wharf, back west through Wapping, over Tower Bridge, across the Thames into Southwark, past Rotherhithe, Surrey Keys, into Deptford, before finishing in Greenwich in front of the magnificent, iconic Cutty Sark. Four London boroughs in all, 13.1 miles. Well, away we go in the wheelchair race, and David Weir once again renewing his rivalry with the silver bullet Marcel Hoog, centre of picture, who will come out on top this time. Away we go in the inaugural Vitality Big Half. Samo Farah doing battle against Callum Hawkins, the British number two, in the shades, and just behind the reigning London Marathon champion, Daniel Wanjiro from Kenya. Mo Farah has been training hard at altitude in Ethiopia. And five miles in, is this a surge or a decisive break? Mo Farah, patient in the early stages, has put his foot down here and you can see has opened up quite a gap already on Wanjiro and Hawkins. There's the chasing pack, Josh Griffiths leading the way, Matt Sharp at the back, but the gap is already quite considerable. Well, it was just a surge. Wanjiro there has reeled in Mo Farah and Callum Hawkins also drawing closer. Much closer in the women's race, teammates Charlotte Perdue and Lily Partridge going stride for stride, they know each other well. And Callum Hawkins' turn to make a break, perhaps, with the crowd behind them, approaching Tower Bridge. Wonderful atmosphere here out on the course, and Mo Farah playing his part as well. Charlotte Perdue has been in great form, training in Australia. Just beyond halfway, and the three main runners in the men's race still stride for stride coming off the bridge with Hawkins again doing the lion's share of the work they'll make a left turn into Tooley Street into the borough of Southwark and there again the chasing pack with a lot of ground to make up Charlotte Perdue and Lily Partridge still going together teammates with a little bit of colour for company and Mo Farah, who's been quite content just to keep quiet at the back and let the other two do the work, looking very comfortable indeed, looking as if he's out for a, a Sunday morning jog on the streets of London. Hello. Perdue and Partridge then coming over Tower Bridge. There they are, still inseparable. Both have been in terrific form in 2018. And it's this one Jira's turn to just make his presence felt. Mo Farah has been quite content to let the others do the work. Marcel Hoog, though, getting the better of David Weir once again in the wheelchair race. A comfortable victory for the Olympic champion over the marathon. Victory on the streets of London once again. Callum Hawkins then making another surge. Will this one be decisive? He really has put in a great effort today. Sadly, Lily Partridge has been dropped by Charlotte Perdue and is playing catch-up, she's a long way back, and there is Perdue, who uh, ran so well in Japan just before Christmas. And Mo Farah, the gloves are off, physically, and who knows, metaphorically as well, is this Farah saying, enough is enough, it's time to get racing. And they're still racing, halfway over Tower Bridge. 200 metres to go, Mo Farah just edges in front, it's half a lap of the track, we know all about Farah's finishing speed from his track days, can he turn it on here? Just a few final twists and turns as we enter Greenwich. Cutty Sark will come into view very shortly. Mo Farrell then, Wanjiro still on his shoulder. A left-hand turn, another right-hand turn. And Mo Farrell, can he turn on the style and the speed for the home crowd? And there he is, a big finish for Mo Farrell in the big half. He's got this race won. 
He wanted to get the win. It looks like he's got the win. And Mo Farah once again winning on the streets of London. The winning time, 61.40. That doesn't matter. It was all about getting the victory here today. Charlotte Perdue, what a performance. A huge personal best for her. She's sliced over a minute of her previous lifetime best. Small in stature, but a huge talent and huge guts. And we'll look out for her once again in the London Marathon next month. But today was all about this man, Mo Farah, winning again in London. It wasn't really much of a test. Um, I like, it would have been nice to be able to push myself a little bit, a little bit you know, harder. But at the same time, you just have to take it uh, as it is. And, you know, Callum did try and he pushed on early on. And same to Andrew, uh, who he would do London. And I think both of us look comfortable enough. So just see, uh, see if I can keep that pace going for another another what 13.2 so against all the odds the big half managed to beat the big chill victory for Mo Farah perhaps he may have preferred a, a stiffer test here today but he looks in good shape doesn't he ahead of the London Marathon likewise Charlotte Perdue a huge personal best for her and a Swiss double in the wheelchair races for Marcel Hoog and Manuela Scher well all our winners will be back for the London Marathon on April the 22nd and so will we